Sister-in-law almost destroyed my marriage by trying to convince me that my husband cheated on. Sister-in-law almost destroyed my marriage by trying to convince me that my husband cheated on me but he didn't I'm full of regrets believing that my husband cheated on me when he didn't September 19, 2022 cheating is something that I have always had strong opinions about I've been cheated on before and it sucked everyone knows that I don't forgive cheaters so when my sister-in-law my husband's sister staged an elaborate scheme about my husband cheating I ended the relationship my Relationship unfortunately wasn't the only one that was affected my sister-in-law Lisa 32 her best friend Emma 32 and my husband Jamie 29 were best friends growing up Emma got married early when she was 20 her husband was abusive she has two children with him she got divorced 10 years later and she was finally free from his abuse she suffered a lot however and was probably still is in therapy her and her children I 30 met Jamie 4 years ago we got married 2 years later everything was just Awesome what I didn't t know was that Emma wanted Jamie and Lisa made it her mission when Emma finally got divorced to bring her brother and best friend together I didn't know any of this so I never knew there was a hidden agenda when a few months into my marriage I overheard Lisa talking about how Jamie was cheating with a married colleague of his in hindsight I can tell it was staged because she was saying unnecessary details and was very loud she meant for me to hear it I confronted her then. And there and she play Ed very flustered and apologized and begged me not to ruin my marriage she told me Jimia loved me and she never want to lose me as a sister but at the same time she provided me with pictures and texts they were all photoshopped of my husband and his colleague she begged me not to mention where I found out and I was grateful for her support and promised her not to expose her as the source I confronted my husband with everything and he adamantly refused to admit to anything. It hurt me more that he never admitted nor apologized ever he asked me where I got this from but I kept my promise and told him it was an anonymous tip I also went so far that I contacted the colleague's husband at the time I thought it was the right thing to do the colleague is this very beautiful woman that my husband worked very closely with many hours a day I was a bit jealous of that. And I confided my my fears with Lisa she used it against me I asked for divorce and the colleague's husband. Did too after that Lisa STA and I started seeing how Emma and my husband gradually started hanging out at least once a week Emma or Lisa shared stories about my husband with Emma and her children what I did next is very questionable and yet I don't regret it at all I was desperate and I needed the truth I was still very good friends with Lisa's on again off again boyfriends Mike's sister I told her my doubts and everything I told her that Lisa was my source that my husband was cheating and that. I'm starting to doubt ever depression I stayed in bed called in sick for two weeks I have not only ruined my life but also another family I don't know why I'm writing here if I want advice or just vent I don't blame anyone but my stupidity for ruining my marriage I should have trusted my husband and the love he shown me I should have been honest with him about everything and where I got the news that he was cheating from I should have not gone to hurt the colleague and her family just because I Thought her beautiful she h should just know what Emma is doing and what she's capable of doing he deserves to know the truth maybe I could start with reassuring him that I'm not trying to win him back I'm just trying to help him understand and apologize I need to apologize for everything I don't know update September 1st 25th 2022 hi have now an update thank you for being so supportive. I honestly didn't expect that given how long and boring my story was I remember being so desperate and wanted. To tell everything from the B details here and there that I've forgotten to include I sent him all the manipulated pictures and the original every screenshot Mike sent me from Lisa and Emma's conversations I made it clear however that I wasn't trying to manipulate him to have me back because I knew that what I did was unforgivable but that I wanted to warn him about who he's dealing with I told it that I've been watching Emma and Lisa Zig and I've seen that he was getting cozier with Emma I wanted him to know all the facts I are as an enemy because she would make my life sour believe me you don't want me to make destroying your already miserable life my mission Emma just smiled the whole time she later said that my husband always had a crush on her and that he wouldn't believe my nonsense because he could finally be with her the thing is it felt like Lisa was more angry that Mike knew what she did rather than her brother and she really was annoyed about Emma and told her to shut up. All the time I couldn't get the Moar Lisa talk about me being unfaithful would he have any doubts in his loving sister's intentions he stayed the night and left next morning we have been texting several times a day and talking on the phone and FaceTime every night since he says that he loves me but that he doesn't know what to do he is very hurt by his sister and Emma of course. But even by me he hasn't talked about cancelling the divorce process yet I will just have to wait and that's understandable I've turned his life upside. Do I really hope my husband forgives me and I promise that I will make it up to him and love him hashtag forever now on to the next story story 2 broke up with my fiance after his hateful rant and false accusations I 23 f my fiance 25 m we met in college and decided to not get married until we graduated to focus on our studies and we have been dating for 4 years he proposed to me. During his last semester of his master's program and he is studying to become a teacher I graduated with my bachelor's not. 2L the graduation he said that the wedding was a us thing and that he was willing to compromise because it was our wedding but when it came to the graduation he said it was M thing because he was the one who graduated so he didn't have to compromise because he did the school work when I asked what he meant by compromise he said he'd tolerate Jason at our wedding because that's what couples do. But the graduation was about him when I asked if he'd support potential future children that came. 
Out he s came out and leave it to me and I just want to ask how to tell him so I'm thinking another conversation like we had but I want to ask for the best way to go about it what would be the best way to tell him that I don't think we have a future together given his stance update June 1st 11th 2023 a lot of people suggested talking to my fiance in an open space or my parents home about my deal breaker but I wasn't able to do my parents home although I got to talk to them and they agreed with my Reason in Aaron's place we ended up talking at a place we went for lunch and I told him that I couldn't go forward in the relationship because he repeatedly said he wouldn't accept any children who came out but when I said that he didn't try to take it back and said that he was willing to compromise for me he said it was better than pretending to agree with coming out and that he was being honest. But I told him I was done because of his beliefs and he didn't take it well he took it fine at the Restaurant A and not hiding it like many couples internalized things he also said our country was changing things that was always wrong such as gay rights and he said that people were trying to shove gay rights down everyone's throats he also said that you can't say anything these days because of cancel culture and me too catering to sensitive people and he said that the value of education was dropping because people were becoming more stupid he also said that that was why he wanted to become a Teacher because the start of dating going forward lastly some people suggested reporting my ex-fiancé to the school in my previous post because they said he could be harmful to gay students and I especially agree after the post he made I did receive a lot of hateful DMS from people who agreed with my ex and said that I'd be wrong to contact the school some even accused me of considering cancelling him in DMS and a few comments on my last post but I don't see it as that I see calling the school as Something that is my last update August 2nd 20th 2023 I didn't really plan to make another post but I received a lot more DMS after my update was shared in r slash b of redditor updates. That made me want to come back and I read through many of the comments there too which made me want to address something to those who called me out for not seeing any signs of his homophobia earlier you're absolutely right I just assumed the best and never thought to question it but I will now ask the tough questions. Going forward a like really doesn't mean anything I sent an email with an attachment of his now deleted Facebook rant to a few places the school he subs at slash was subbing it before he graduated and the school district along with the county office of education where we live thanks to advice provided by a commenter who who I DM. For more advice I also told people I knew about why we were breaking up and show them the post and that did most of the talking for me I broke up with my ex before. Contacting the SCY belongings at my place but he's been livid about the way I handled it and I'll admit that I was afraid to do it face to face because I was a coward but he took to Facebook again he made another post talking about how dad returned the ring instead of me and that I didn't give him credit for being honest about his willingness to compromise and proceeded to ghost him pretty much erasing the purpose of his deleted post by referring to the same points I'll admit that I was. Cowardly about how I hand Christians but I'm guessing he vented to them about it and is back involved in some way given the post the last thing I'll say is this and I kept it to the end because I'm not looking for advice as I'm only taking it from a lawyer on this matter that my parents have helped me contact my ex called my job and apparently told them that I had CP and that that was why he left. And I don't know where he pulled it out of his ass from I don't know if he was talked to about the emails I sent to the distribute call but I stand with my decision to do so I really appreciate the advice I received and hope that at the least telling the school will have done some good someone also suggested looking into LGBTQ things to support and give energy to and I'll look into that once I'm past this job situation update September 3rd 9th 2023 I said that last time was going to be my last post but I really mean it with this one before I get into why though I just want to say again that I'm Sorry for not seeing his homo G it or for wrongfully cancelling him and agreeing with many of the points his father made in his Facebook rant if the news was on TV as we were doing something slash eating my ex didn't voice his homophobia then as many asked and when we talked about kids it was wrong me to not ask what he'd think if they came out lesson learned for next time as previously mentioned we also had a friend who came out. And he's very close to them and accepting but with that out of the way. I'll get to why this is my last ow his dad continued his dad posted my socials and home address to one of his Facebook posts thus why I deleted my Instagram and he said that he was going to cancel me back to another reason I contacted a lawyer was because I received a threatening DM but that's the most I'm going to go into specifics I only received one of those but it was enough to make me and my parents want to be on the safer side and that's another reason why I'm done making these posts. Because I want this whole thing to be ends the past few months have been really tough and the encouragement I've gotten from reading my story on view has helped more than I can express everyone there has been really supportive so much to the point that I reread the comments for reassurance when I feel down sometimes when I broke up with him and told the school about him I didn't know the next few months would be so tough so I need to vent to get it out. Because things have been stressful when I Mentioned how my ex's father has been po- I also made a police report but they didn't find who did it I also mentioned in my last post that I was getting threats without going into specifics but to be honest some of them were Dora threats that gave me lots of anxiety I'm guessing they could be from some of my ex's friends or his father's but I also received a lot of messages on my socials since his Facebook post where he linked my socials. That led to me deleting my socials many cursing me out. 
and calling me woke among other things my are another wave of messages to go through I have no quarrel with the videos themselves because many comments were supportive too and the channels share other reddit stories too the fact that some commented in agreement with my ex doesn't make the video bad either but was just a realization of homophobia some comments made fun of Jason for coming out while others said my ex was right to uninvited him it's just been a lot and I came back to get it off my Chest I know I'll get more hateful comments af aching legal action against it if anything comes from it I'll share it in an update the tire slashing and threats also did a number on my mental health but it showed me some things too the DMS also showed me just how ruthless people are strangers who would never say such things to my face I'm considering moving out of state. But I'm current with my parents for safety reasons now I especially appreciate reading the supportive comments DMS that aren't hateful because they really help.